What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So as you saw in the last video, we installed a JB4 on my 335i to make some more power. But as I said in that video towards the end, we can make even more power when you run the JB4 with the MHD backend flash linked with it. So what we're going to be doing today is I'm going to be showing you guys what you need to do a backend flash and how to actually install the backend flash. So first, what you're going to need is a battery charger because this flash process could take up to 40 minutes. So you definitely don't want to just leave your battery on for 40 minutes because if you don't have a brand new battery, it could definitely kill the battery. And if it dies in the middle of flashing, you will not be able to start your car at all. You will be shit out of luck and you'll have to get towed to wherever your next location is, which I'm sure none of you want to do that. So second, what you're going to need is you're going to need a K plus decan cable, which you can get from anywhere, but I highly recommend this one. It's Beamer Geeks cable. I recommend this because you can install your flashes up to 50% quicker. So highly recommend it. And the cable comes like this, but you have the option to get this. It's an OTG cable, stands for on the go. And what that allows you to do is go USB to a um, port to go into an Android device. So I know a lot of new phones have like the USB-C. This is an old school um, like charger cable for an Android device, but that's what works for the tablet. Taking us to the next part. You need a Android device. You can't use Apple. Apple will not work with MHD. You need Android. All right, so first what you're gonna do is you're going to go to Google Chrome, search up N54 MHD back in flash. What that's gonna do is it will bring you to the first link, which is an N54 tech, N54 Beamer Boost back end flash. We're gonna click on that. Then from there, we're gonna scroll down and you will see right here. This is the old version. This is the new one that just came out, as you can see, 12.3.18. So you're gonna click on that. Once you click on this, it's going to download something, which I already have installed. It will download a zip file. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna to wanna to download WinZip. But once you download WinZip, what you're gonna do is you'll see the file pop up here. So this is what it's gonna download. It's gonna say JB4 N54 back in flash, and it's gonna say 120318, blah, 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 blah. Now what you're gonna do is select the file that is closest to what you have. You're also gonna to need to make sure you use the proper DME. So you're gonna to have to make sure you have the right one. But for me, what I have is I'm running upgraded turbos and stuff like that. So I would use hybrid, but I don't use anything besides pump gas for right now. So what I'm gonna download is the JB4 i8 AOS pump bin file. So you'll click on that. And when you click on that, you're gonna to wanna to click up here and it's gonna give you the option of where to zip the file to. So you go to wherever you wanna store it to storage, SD card, whatever, you can click on download and then zip here. Once you download and you zip your file, now it's time to take all your equipment, your battery chargers hooked up, and we'll start with the flash process. So let's go to the car. All right, so once you get in the car, like I said, you're gonna plug in your OBD2 cable and the OTG cable. You're going to go to your Google Play Store, download the MHD app. So what you're gonna do is, once you get into the screen, you're gonna go to the MHD license store and it'll start reading everything for you. And if you look right here, it says HW, and that's your hardware, and then it says I8 AOS. So that's how I know what my DME is. If you have a different one, yours will say whatever yours is. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna download the JB4 backend flash flasher, and then that's it. You don't need any of this other stuff here. That's literally all that you need because all you're gonna be doing is doing a JB4 back in flash. Next, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to stock map operations. You're gonna wanna generate an updated backup. So you would click on that. I'm not gonna do it because I don't need it, but you would generate a backup map and it's gonna generate a backup file to have all your last save preferences, just in case you know something goes wrong, you have something to fall back on. All right, so once you do that, you're gonna go to flash your backend flash, and then that's not the right one, that's the old one. So what I'll do is JB4 I8 AOS pump. Click on that, and then it's gonna do contacting DME, and it will pop up like this, and then you see, 
right now it gives me the option map right too because i already did this but for you guys it would take a lot longer and then you have your options you have exhaust verbal which i'll show you guys in another video you have your shift bog um which that kind of like lets you bounce off the rev limiter instead of just fuel cut cold start noise reduction so what i'm going to do is i'll keep it just like that cold start noise reduction and the shift bog and then you're going to click map right as you see, it says make sure that you have the JB4 on map zero, which I already did that. So as you see, it finished downloading. Success, turn off ignition and wait 30 seconds. So we'll turn off the ignition, take the key out, and we'll sit here patiently for 30 seconds. What you're gonna do now before you start the car is you're gonna turn your ignition on and you're gonna go into your JB4 settings. So volume down, tune down, and you're gonna go to menu four so you guys can see menu four now you see i have it in menu four and two this is what you want your setting on because this is the back end flash setting when you have a jb4 just the jb4 most of you will be on map three if you're watching this because you're not going to have a back end flash or if you do you want to learn how whatever you get it but most of you will be on this you have to make sure you go to two if you stay on three, the car is not going to run right. It's going to throw you codes. You're going to be so confused and you're going to have to reflash. Um, so make sure you do that before. Go down, clear out, and boom, that's it. All right, so now the moment of truth to see if everything works. And boom, car started right up. All right, so just like the last video ended, ended in the car. That's going to be all. Hope you guys enjoyed the brief little video. Um, this isn't really what I specialize in DIYs. Me and Steve do more or less like vlogs and stuff like that, but I do feel like these are important informational videos for UN54 guys to make more power. So definitely check back. I'm gonna have a couple of videos in the future of how to install anti-lag two-step as well as do dyno numbers to see the difference between pump back end flash and like an E85 back end flash. So hope you guys enjoyed. Always remember, work hard, stay humble.